Hi guys! So today's video I'm going to be talking about skincare for your skin type. Now I do know that there are more than just three but I'm going to go through the three basics which are oily, dry, and combination skin. So today I'm going to be going through some of the basics about skincare um, for your skin type. Um, so without further ado, let's dive in. <laughs> With any skincare routine, you should always put your hair back. I usually use a clip. Um, I recently got this headband. I do like it. It's very um, chic pink um, for my chic self. So, starting, let's start with oily skin. Now, if you have oily skin, um, a couple of basic things to, to know um, is that when cleansing your skin, there are two types of um, washes that you can use to help with your like skin. Now, if you have black or white heads, you wanna cleanse um, with salicylic acid. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm gonna put it up here. Um, that's best for black heads and white heads. If you have um, acne that's like pus filled or red irritated bumps, Benzoyl peroxide works better for that. Um, that's like the number one prescribed um, product for dermatologists for acne. Um, so when you use a cleanser, um, if you have those type of, of issues on your face, depending on what you have, you want to have a cleanser um, that has either the salicylic acid or the benzoyl peroxide to put in there. Okay. So in terms of steps for oily skin um, to do, you would want to cleanse. Now cleanse both AM and PM. Um, cleanse uh, with a cleanser. Like I said, if you have acne, you know the certain types, either a uh, cleanser with a salicylic acid or the benzoyl peroxide can help um, with your types of acne. Otherwise a basic cleanser can work. Now I do, um, have an exfoliating um, cleanser, which kind of is like two steps in one. Um, this is one of the ones that I use right now um, from Philosophy. Um, it's a micro exfoliating daily facial wash. And it smells divine. It smells like oranges, like orange peels. It's great. And then you want to use a toner. Again, if um, you have uh, oily skin, um, the lactic acid, the glycolic acid, or the salicylic acid can help with it as well. Um, uh, a toner like this for sensitive skin can work uh, uh, for that. This is alcohol free. Um, one thing you always want to avoid is alcohol products because um, they tend to make the skin even more oilier. oilier. Is that a word? I don't know. But it can increase the amount. So an oil-free toner always helps. Um, and you want to treat the skin at night. You want to use a retinol product. Right now I'm currently out of retinol, so I don't have anything to show for it. You do want to moisturize in the AM and PM. One of my picks is the H2O Hydration Oasis Refreshing Gel Moisturizer. Um, and then uh, add sunscreen. Um, even though um, you would think with oily skin you shouldn't add sunscreen, you do. And most makeup products, if you wear at least a foundation, have like an SPF 15 in there. So that's where you can add the sunscreen to it. Um, um, so those are um, the basic uh, steps uh, to take for oily skin for AM and PM. Now, a little fun fact for oily skin folks, you are more likely to wear off wrinkles and fine lines a little bit longer than those that have dry skin. You are lucky. Okay, so those of you lucky few that have dry skin like myself, you face the battle of winter and fall sometimes. Um, I get the red dry patches in here because it's just... As you can kind of see, I am fighting a little bit here, but it's not too bad because I have been very particular in trying to get my skin to its healthiest as it can be. Now, um, if you do have acne, um, sometimes I get them 
um, usually here, here, uh, maybe a couple here. Um, uh, you can follow those steps with the silicic acid or the benzyl peroxide. However, typically those with dry skin may not need that um, step. But for uh, routines, uh, for better skin, for dry skin, you'll want a cleansing um, wash. Um, uh, like I said, this exfoliating wash um, that I mentioned earlier is great. You can also use a um, exfoliating powder. I've used this um, recently. I purchased this and used this. Um, I mix it with water. I put it onto my skin. Um, and it does turn into like a liquid, obviously with water added. Um, um, but it does help to cleanse and exfoliate. All right. So the next step that you'll want to do um, for dry skin is use a toner. Again, I'm going to um, share this one because this is great for sensitive skin. Dry skin people can also be very sensitive skin people. So this is a great example for a toner. Um, it's alcohol free, great for sensitive skin um, and all of the above. You name it, it's got it here. Now, a next step that I'm going to recommend um, that um, for dry skin especially, um, is a hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid can be tricky in the name um, because it sounds like it will draw moisture out, but it can actually draw moisture in. And that's what you would like to do. So after cleansing and toning, I like to add a few drops um, here, here, and here. So, you know, my T-zones especially. Um, I use the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Um, this one has a dropper um, for, you know, putting on your face um, so that you're not overusing it. Um, let it absorb for about 30 seconds. Now this bottle is one fluid ounces. This was $6 on Beautylish, and I think this is one of the better deals that I found. Now next, what we do a little bit differently, um, in the morning you want to do an antioxidant serum, which basically any of the vitamins A, C, and E uh, you want to add to your routine. Um, now I have this vitamin C serum that I do love. This one's from Kylie Skin. Um, add to my face. Um, it smells like oranges. It's great. Um, you can add that. Um, and lastly, you want to moisturize. Um, I like to use um, the H2O Hydration Oasis um, as well as the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior Hydration Gel. Um, this kind of does a little bit with wrinkles as well as hydrate. Um, now that's something that you can use AM and PM. Um, the only difference in the um, routine that you want to do for the PM is add retinol into your um, routine. Like I said earlier, I'm currently out of retinol, so um, I don't have any examples to show you. Um, but that's the basics for dry skin. The last set uh, for types of skincare is combination. Um, typically, folks that have them, they'll have lots of... Um, oils here, maybe along here, uh, along the nose, maybe on your chin, um, uh, but typically we'll have drier patches here, um, maybe on the sides here, um, give or take, obviously everybody is different, um, but for AM you want to cleanse, um, tone, um, use a lightweight moisturizer, and then uh, they also add sunscreen, if you don't use makeup, make sure you add it to your face. For PM, you want to cleanse, tone, use some retinol serum, and then a lightweight moisturizer. Now you can add eye cream as well, depending if your eyes are dry underneath here. If your eyes tend to be oily underneath here, avoid using the eye cream. Uh, it may actually increase their production there. That is my overall um, guideline regarding skincare routine and tips. Um, I've shown a few of my products here that I have bought or received in boxes. Uh, some items are great to use on like a weekly basis where you use once or twice a week. And for example, that would be a deep cleansing charcoal mask that I have here from Mary Kay. 
Now, um, to note for oily skin people, this does have the salicylic acid in it. So this may help, especially with the blackheads and whiteheads on your um, face. You can put it around. Um, but typically, this is something that you would like to do maybe once or twice a week. I wouldn't do it more than that because um, it may over irritate your skin. Um, but this charcoal mask is one of my favorites. Um, I did get this from Mary Kay. Um, and it does help remove any unwanted um, blackheads in your problem areas. Now you can do your whole face. You can do your nose. Some people I like to uh, will do their nose, um, uh, wherever you may choose. And then um, that can help out uh, with that. If you like these types of videos, don't be afraid to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I appreciate your support and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye guys.